Hi guys, it's Annie from Eclipse All Sports. I'm just wanting to bring you a quick video review. Uh, today we're going to be looking at um, how to spot a fake CA cricket bat and how difficult uh, it has become, and uh, the lengths that uh, companies or people are actually going to uh, to provide fake CA cricket bats. Um, so we're going to start off by taking a quick look at this stunning looking CA cricket bat. Really nice grains, really straight, really even, really good looking bat. You've got the fully knocked tin sticker, you've got the Schwab McSood sticker, you've got the barcode sticker there. You've got your hologram stickers, all these stickers are textured in Bosch. You've got your CA in Bosch grip. Pull up another CA bat. So yeah, these stickers, even though the Schwab McSood ones are slightly different, that's just because it's got the Schwab McSood signature on there, but the stickers are identical. You've got the CA embossed grip on this one, and you've got the rib grip on this one. So we've got no CA stamping on this one. And um, we've got a CA stamping on this one. And um, we'll just look at the shapes. So the shape on this one is your standard mid-middle position spine into the toe up into the handle. Uh, the shape on this one is the new shape that the CA produced with the duck build toe. And um, this one says two pound eight. This one also says two pound eight. Look at the handle. Five cork inserts through the handle. Uh, four cork inserts through this handle. Um, so, if you guys have been looking closely at the bats, have you been able to tell which one is real and which one is fake? Um, stickers through the back, grains through the back. Um, so yeah, it's not that easy to tell based on the stickers and based on the looks of the faces of the bat. Um, if you look at that barcode sticker there, and if you have a close look at that barcode sticker there, they're pretty much the same. Um, so basically what I'm going to say is, this bat here is the fake one. Um, you've got a few things that might point that out to you. CA stampings, the bats with the CA stampings normally have the CA stamping around about there. This one's quite low down. Uh, the edges on this one, 38mm and spine 60mm. It says £2.8 ounce. It's in fact £2.14 ounce. So it's a very heavy piece of wood uh, for the size of the of the edges and the spine. Um, the grip is slightly different colour to what you'd get with a normal CA embossed grip and the embossing on the CA is not very good. Uh, the cork inserts in the handle, so yeah, uh, produced uh, three cork inserts um, a couple of years ago, but since then they've all had five cork inserts, so none of the bats have ever had four cork inserts. So always look at the handles and see if you can uh, see what cork inserts they've got. Shape-wise, it is a CA shape. This is what they produced, mid-middle position, spine to the top into the handle. So the shape is very consistent with what you'd expect from a CA bat, and like I say, all these stickers are genuine CA stickers, but if you look, uh, the C and the A is spaced very wide apart, so on a genuine CA bat, uh, those stickers would be quite close together, so the stickering of the bat sometimes can give it away. Um, also, uh, the CA stamping is upside down on this side, so normally you would get consistencies like the CA being the right way up, and same with this sticker there as well. But some genuine bats may have CA stamping upside down, but these are just indications that might uh, suggest that it's not a genuine bat. So these are things just to look out for. Um, this one did have a toe guard on. We have removed the toe guard, and the reason we removed the toe guard is because look at the grains through the toe. You've got four or five grains through the toe, and you've got about 17, 18 through the face, and you've probably got about 12, 10, 12 through the back of the bat. So they don't line up, um, and this is what um, they've been doing with the bats. They've been putting these uh, face sheets on. So you've got these laminate face sheets going on the front and on the back. It's very hard to tell if you look down the side. Uh, they fit them very well. 
um, but you might just be able to see a slight line down the edge um, but yeah they're doing a very good job of fitting these sheets so they're doing a very good good job of hiding the fact that there's a cashmere piece of willow hiding underneath these grain sheets because uh, that's probably why the bat is so heavy not very big um, at least not even English willow from what I can see this is probably cashmere willow guys so you're probably looking at a 20-30 pound piece of willow and they're selling it for a couple of hundred quid um, but yeah it's very difficult to tell that it's not a genuine bat it also comes with a, a genuine 15,000 players edition bat cover so if you're going to buy from a supplier that you don't know is a genuine supplier or a genuine retailer then it's very difficult to know whether you're getting a genuine product especially um, with these CA cricket bats because some people in Pakistan are going to extreme lengths to make fake cricket bats that look as genuine as possible and to be honest it's very difficult to tell uh, the only reason I started noticing or started to look closer at the bat is because it felt very heavy for the size of the bat and the balance wasn't very good and that's normally a good indication that there's something wrong with the bat because CA bat generally pick up very well but from pictures you don't get to pick up the bat and you don't get to feel the balance of the bat or weigh the bat um, so, some, so from just looking at pictures it's very difficult to tell whether it's a fake or whether it's a genuine CA bat so all I'm trying to do is warn you guys from buying bats from eBay if they're not a registered retailer or they're not a trusted retailer and they're just some person who's bought some bats in from Pakistan and there's a guy down in Essex who's selling these bats on eBay um, and that's where this lad got them from um, I'll just try and find you something to show you so basically this is wrapped around the handle and these are all um, shrink wrapped and they'll be on eBay there's about four or five lined up and he's selling these for around about 200 pounds and he's based in Essex so if you see these on eBay and you're tempted to buy one um, I would advise you to avoid because what you're getting is a 30 40 pound piece of willow uh, and it's not even English willow it's probably cashmere willow and you're gonna end up paying uh, 200 pounds for it um, so yeah that's just something for you guys to consider when purchasing your bats there is plenty of, of trusted retailers out there that are selling CA bats um, but if you find yourself a, a players edition uh, plus 15,000 players edition for 190-200 pounds chances are uh, there's something not quite right with that bat because majority of retailers are selling them for around about the 300 pound mark um, to 325 pounds um, so bear that in mind if the if the deal sounds too good to be true normally it is and normally there's a reason for it unless it's a used cricket bat um, chances are it's, it's not going to be genuine um, so just use your common sense and try and ask as many questions uh, from the seller as possible uh, when you're purchasing the bat and just look out for little telltale signs that might indicate uh, that there's something not quite right with the bat as well um, so I hope this has helped guys and it just shows how difficult it is to spot a genuine product to a fake product and um, the lengths that some people are going to, to provide fake cricket bats uh, selling poor quality pieces of willows top grade cricket bats um, so thanks again for watching guys until next time I'll speak to you all soon bye bye